Article 2748 establishes the crime of illegal entry. Wednesday, both bills were heard by committee in the Senate, despite Democratic lawmakers claiming the bill would not hold up to constitutional scrutiny if it were signed into law. The bills that we heard today were part of a package that we've already voted on. Our caucus voted unanimously together, united in opposition. The bill's sponsor has blamed President Joe Biden for a near-record surge of migrants at the border and said a stronger response from the state is needed. We're going to be walking out in protest. Wednesday, Democratic lawmakers walked out of the committee hearing, criticizing how closely it resembles a law in Texas being evaluated by an appeals court. This is harmful policy that's going to be costly to the state. It's going to invite litigation when we're in a budget deficit. Some community members also protested the hearing. A new study from the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy found undocumented immigrants in the United States pay roughly $11.6 billion in taxes every year. Immigrants are undocumented folks contribute to our economy and right now in our state we're in a deficit and so removing you know undocumented workers from our, our, our state you know is only going to affect us and it's going to affect us by more than 11 billion dollars. State Senator Rosana Gavaldon believes these bills similar to claims made against SB 1070 over a decade ago would encourage racial profiling something she says both she and her mother experienced firsthand should see the fear in my mom's face. I will never ever want anybody in the state of Arizona to feel the way my mom felt. Being stopped numerous times is unacceptable. Any form of discrimination is unacceptable. Democratic lawmakers say Republicans are capitalizing on an election year that focuses on immigration. Governor Katie Hobbs has repeatedly said she will veto both bills if they do make it to her desk. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family. Alexis.